Draymond Green is more of a liability than he is an asset. He's not giving the Warriors anything. What is Draymond doing, man? How do you how do you feel you played? You like yeah. He has more fouls than points. The Celtics out-rebounded the Warriors by 16 boards, including 9 more offensive rebounds in Game 3, 22 second chance points. In Game 2, the Warriors had 10 record box outs. In Game 3, they only had 1. Their energy was gone. In Game 4, it was literally Wiggins. No seriously, Wiggins had 16 rebounds including 3 offensive boards off of pure effort and verticality. Draymond, on the other hand, is missing point blank layups <sighs> Steph Curry saved the Warriors in game 4 being the entire offense for most stretches creating shots hitting daggers anything they needed and the Celtics are doing what the Warriors did to Harden and the Rockets hunting the star offensive player not because it's the best matchup but because you can tire him out enough to impact him offensively Curry is not Harden and Curry definitely has way more cardio I but still, you need Draymond to pick it up to make sure the Celtics don't get extra rebounds to cover up all the little defensive mistakes to quarterback the defense. Are these lofty expectations? Yes, but we're talking about a guy who believes he's the best defender to ever play this game. So yeah, these expectations are warranted. All around the league and find good defenders, I just don't think any of them are as good as me. And at this the right attitude to have it. Why would you have it any other way? I think I'm the best. I think I'm the best defender to ever play this game in the NBA. All right. Especially when you're a liability on offense. Draymond is actually holding Curry back and in turn holding the Warriors back. But it's even worse than that. Game five is the most important in a series tied 2-2 because whoever wins this wins the series over 80% of the time. And the Warriors need to figure out what to do with Draymond. What is up, dudes, cadets, ballers, players? It's your boy MJ. The Celtics played extremely well. Their defense was on one in game three, and even in game four. But Curry and Clay scored 56 points in game three, including 11 three pointers, 45.8% from three. But the Warriors' offense once again got stumped in the fourth quarter, and Draymond was nowhere to be found. In game four, the Warriors were actually behind for most of the game. Curry carried the team and had the best game of his career which proved a point that I'm going to be making a video on within the next two or three days, making a splash like Curry, but over 80% of y'all ain't even subscribed. I'm trying to get that to Draymond's three point percentage of zero. So, please subscribe! Offensively, Draymond has just become another player in the Warriors system, a role player that can handle the ball and make some good playmaking decisions. But there's a lot of players on that team that can do just that. In game 4, the Warriors left Dre on the bench, then immediately took him out after putting him in. Why? Because it was obvious that Draymond was actually hurting the team. They were staggering his minutes like Ben Simmons. What the hell was that? Oh no, man. But if Draymond can't guard these Celtics bigs and he's getting blown by by Jalen Brown, then he's useless. I am in no more. Usually, Dre is really good at guarding centers who have every physical advantage over him, height and size. Look at Dre versus Jokic in the first series of these playoffs. Jokic shot 32% in the first two games of the series, mainly because of amazing individual and team defense by Draymond. He's a Lucas said that the key to the Warriors team is Draymond. I have so much respect for Draymond, man. But you know, I think the, the key to the Warriors team is Draymond. But through the first three games this series, Dre's defensive field goal percentage against the Celtics is 49%. The Celtics are making nearly half the shots they take against Draymond. Also, man really missed all these while trying to be on revenge. More realistic goal. Mm. Oh my his perimeter defense was exposed simply because he doesn't actually have the required foot speed to stay with Jalen. 
It was so bad that in game 4, I actually wanted Draymond to be benched. Having Looney and Green on the floor at the same time allows the Celtics to double Curry without much consequence. Benching Draymond for Poole or even Gary Payton would be better because those guys would fulfill a specific role. Now yes, in this specific possession, Draymond got the offensive board, passed it out to Curry, who got doubled, dumped to Dre, who then shuffled it to Looney for the bucket. This is the classic Warriors offense, blitz on Curry to dump it to Draymond for the 4v3 and trust him to find the guy. Except Except the Warriors don't usually play their big man for super long stretches, making it easier for Dre to find a 3 point shooter or a hard cutting wing player. With the Celtics, they have the best defense in the league and offensively their size has been too much. So you need Kevon Looney out there. He played 28 minutes in game 4, the most minutes for him this series and it was very crucial. Having Dre out on the floor with Looney, as I said before, hurts Curry. The problem is clear. But why and how can we fix it? Draymond isn't out of shape. He's still the 6'7", 235 pounds, 7 foot 1 wingspan player. The same defensive genius, albeit a bit slow. <laughs> But let's take a look at Draymond's career guarding perimeter players a bit more closely. Dre has never been the best one-on-one -on -one defender. He's definitely had his moments, but more than that, Dre has been the guy that closes, switches, and directs players into a better defense. The Warriors don't have that many perimeter players to keep up with the Celtics two-head monster of Brown and Tatum. Wiggins has done well. Clay in the first three games was getting beat, which is why Draymond was actually on Brown, Clay on Horton and Looney trying to guard more of the paint. Game 4 was a different story. Clay was able to stay with Brown for multiple defensive possessions, looking more like Clay of old when he was one of the best two-way players in the NBA. If Clay can fulfill more of that role, Draymond can slide back to his more comfortable role of being more in the paint as a free safety, directing traffic, and just filling the gaps. Yeah. Offensively though, I don't see much value he can provide besides setting screens and rolling. He's shooting 0% from 3 despite averaging over 2 3 point attempts per game these finals. Try He's shooting 23% from the field overall. Curry has predominantly created a lot of shots either off the pick and roll or by himself and in transition. We're seeing players like Gary Payton, Looney, and Alapor Jr. making the right decisions, setting screens. I mean, this drop pass by Gary Payton is the type of thing Draymond has made a living off of. The difference is, Gary Payne can defend the perimeter and shoot threes. Alapor Jr. is a good three-point shooter, and Looney can hold his own against the Celtics bigs and set stronger, legal screens. Rather, I think the Warriors should save Dre for specific Boston coverages on Steph. The Celtics have stubbornly refused to blitz Curry on pick and rolls, even as he's dropped 21 in a single quarter, making threes over and over again on drop coverage. Come on, man. And if the Celtics continue to do that, that, then Dre is sort of useless offensively unless he pulls a game 7 Dre. This is unbelievable. Shit, I don't even think people believe this now. And if the Celtics continue to do drop coverage, then that's good for the Warriors. This whole video isn't about how bad Draymond has been, although that was a big part of it. It's how to avoid Draymond from holding back Steph Curry, because the more Curry is unleashed, the better it is for the Warriors. But what do you think? Who's winning game 5? The all day of Kiswa Shao goes to Andres Sanchez. Thanks for the all day support. And if you're still here, you already want to comment single so I know. Drop a like if you like the video and subscribe, turn noise on if you really like the video. It's the NBA Finals and a lot of videos are coming out. It's your boy MJ. We out. We bye. Spaceship, no, no, no.